turning in their grave if they knew that. Good morning, this is Luke Jones. Welcome from Kineshma. Where on earth is that? What are we doing here? Good question. Well, this is the other way. And we take you to places you didn't even know existed. So here we are, with the mighty Volga behind us. Join us for Kineshma. Kinishma done, we've moved on to Pilios, also here on the Volga, population two and a half thousand. We had hoped to get here by boat, there's not very many boats, so we got a cab. Anyway, this place is famous, hundreds of years old. Former Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev has a dacha here apparently. I'm not sure if they'll let us in, but there's plenty to see. Wow, and there's still some snow on the ground, despite the sunny weather. certainly packs a punch and I think I've uh, done quite well here. Beautiful old houses, you'd never guess such a tiny population but it's getting touristy despite the fact it's not an easy place to get to. You've got the Volga, the train, taxi, one of those three, now we're off. Okay so where are we? We are on the Revolution Square and uh, this is the monument for revolution fighters but originally it was made for Odessa and you can see that those fighters are barefoot because in Odessa it is much warmer <laughs> than here and in Soviet time this monument was called Wake Up, it is 11 because not far from here there was a shop which was selling vodka and you could buy during the Soviet time you could buy vodka only from the lava. <laughs> so that's why well, there you go. <laughs> It's not improving, but I've got to show you around. Behind me, you can see this big tower symbolizes a prison, and up at the top is the flame of revolution. My umbrella is not helping. Beautiful old building behind me that I thought might be an old merchant's house or something turns out to be a KFC. I think the uh, workers here would be turning in their grave if they knew that, or they'd be popping in there for lunch. You have to be suspicious of any place that has dates for street names. Something obviously uh, significant happened. I think there was a revolution back in 1917. around all around Ivanova trying to find a statue that we didn't find. My umbrella's knackered. I think we need to find a nice dry pub. Dry only in one sense of the word. Follow me. The weather beat us to it, but we found a lovely pub here, Miel, makes its own beer. Only leaves me to say thank you to Ivanova, not to the weather. Had a great time here. Obviously I wanted to tell you a little bit more about it, 
out out in the streets, such as it's twinned with Manchester, not because of the rain, but because of the textiles. It's also known as Bride City, Gordon Nivierst, because there were so many women brought in to work in the textiles that there was a shortage of men. But anyway, I'll always say a cheers to that. Ivanova, thank you. This has been Luke Jones the other way. Keep with us.